The next team that we have up is team, I, I can't, I don't know if I can go on anymore after that one, but okay. The next team we have up is me. Is, is. So, Daniel. <laughs> How many you on pyrotechnics this year? Uh, no pyrotechnics, no? No. No pyrotechnics. No. Alright. Portland plays a deck in the air. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Cool, my team won the 90 seconds though because we have to go to Matthew with it. Alright. So, our 90 seconds will start halfway through, which I believe counts as a crush pack. Uh, right, we have ready to go back. Yes! Hello, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> Welcome to your worst nightmare. <laughs> okay, right then, so let's just do a reset. Uh, I, I wasn't kidding, we are about to use four whirling blades of death in the air. If you'd always like to look above your heads, okay, if you see a whirling blade of death descending on you, move. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we do. Leaky, do we have a green or a red underneath the whirling blade of death? Green. No, not the very underneath. Correct response to that question. No! <laughs> no, no, no! Thrice. Do you not have mercy? No. <laughs> I love the fact that Alistair continues to thrice deny me. How are we doing with the burning blades of death over Wi Fi? The Wi Fi is not quite as deathly as we would expect. Have you tried turning it on and off? Who said that? Stand up! <laughs> Thank you, sit down again. <laughs> Matthew, drop it on him. Again? Okay, Matthew, drop it on him. I don't get it that far first. I can throw it at him. Guys. We may have to go to a watch up on phone. Quite as magical. Nicky, you want me to reset the bottom? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we live dangerous. Right. <laughs> also, no <not> towers. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just uh, go forward one slide. Basically, what we're attempting to show you is this French invention here. Uh, the Parrot AR drone, they've been developing this for two or three years now. Um, it is now available to the shop, so it gives you a rich experience. And we and I thought, no, we can do better. If we have Wi-Fi, if we have wheels, if we have connectivity, this is the point where you would be seeing the impressive blades of death flying through the air with a live webcam view of who it's about to kill. <laughs> We thought we could be better than that. Because that, in my mind's eye, with slightly better contrast and a bit more gamma on it, is wipeout on the Sony PlayStation. As you can see here, the world's first actually physically built wipeout track. We have hills, we have jumps, we have a big dangerous curve at the end. Everything is in a little tunnel in the middle as well. Everything in here replicates the wipeout experience. We just need to build the anti-gravity cars. We haven't quite got the anti-gravity bit worked out yet. We haven't stolen that from the French, but we have everything else. This is the system we have. We start off with a desk-bound computer, which connects over Wi-Fi to our router, which is hiding behind the screen. That router then has an Ethernet connection to our Arduino circuit board, which is then hardwired into a remote control controller, which then sends an RS signal at 40 megahertz to our racing car. Put all of that in place, and you have part number one, which is a telnet controlled Ferrari. <laughs> which is here, waiting to attend the wipeout track. But I don't know, we can do more than that. We can do 
more than that because this French whirling blades of death isn't controlled by a desktop computer, it's controlled by tilting an iPad. No, an iPhone. An iPhone, an iPhone, we've downgraded, have we? So, firstly, here's a demonstration of how the French do it. No? No? <laughs> Remember, we're going to share an aircraft carrier with them. <laughs> Just think that joke, Matthew, but I did it slightly more ironically. Thank you, Not working? Okay, so, it actually helps our demonstration here. Uh, because we have a desktop computer. We don't want to use desktop computer. Nobody plays Wi-Fi on a desktop computer. You play with handheld devices, you play with controllers in your hand. We all have smartphones, devices, Android, iPhones. So we now have the clients developed for both the Android and iPhone, and using the accelerometer sensors and a webcam feed coming back to the car. Guys, did you come forward? <coughs> you can now control your cars as if you were a five-year-old, like this. <laughs> to turn left, you do this. To turn right, you do this. You go forward, turn forward, and do that. You do it back. And then you put your left leg in. <laughs> no? Okay, right. Right now. Next slide. Uh, yes, immersive. You have steering, you have driving. What you need now is to experience wipeout like you would on a PlayStation. You need to get inside the car. Yes, we trust our technology. As you can see, thankfully, here's a video we prepared earlier. <laughs> Major Britain joke from the IT crowd. <laughs> and there we go. Complete replication of the Sony PlayStation wipeout experience using an iPhone and an Android client. How are we doing with the drone? How much engineering? Yeah, right, Sam, do you want to go do the job? Simon, do you have the handy application that we wrote to fly the drone? Right then. Can you have it over the shoulder on this one, uh, As you can see, the French client for the drone is functional at best, but it does pose one problem. Everybody wants to have a go in the cars, yes? Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thanks, Mum. Uh, everybody wants to have a go in the whirling blades of death. So uh, we have uh, developed this here. Simon, what do we call this? What do we call this? Yes. This is paint on duration. That's an arcade. That's right. So essentially, if we want to decide whether we want to drive the car or the drone, let's go for the car as well. Uh, we then uh, put in our PayPal details. Oh, time crunch. Let's go for uh, 10 minutes. Uh, so that will cost you six pounds. Lovely. Pay with PayPal.
Right, come on up here. You have to use slide to version of the application now. Oh, the paid one? Yes. <laughs> right, that is. Right, so here we have the application. Let's have a go over the shoulder again, Matthew. Okay. Right then, so we're using this one now. So, uh, we want to fly the drone. Oh, no, we'll just move the car first. So, PayPal. Press the play, PayPal button. Right, Matthew, you can just put your PayPal details in there, please. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> 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 you like it, that's good. So, this application gives you the choice of driving the car. So obviously, to fly the drone, is slightly more expensive than to drive the car. Okay? Right, okay? Now, Matthew, two pounds! Right, if you can do that. <laughs> right, stand. Right, then. Good. Right, okay, so uh, that's done. Okay, we successfully paid. Uh, so if you could go back to screen. Yeah, if you could. Can we go back one? We can't go back one. Did you take the uh, bump API integration? But the bump API integration, uh, which we're still working on, is nearly there. Whenever you have an impact in the vehicle, they will charge you an extra 50p over PayPal. <laughs> 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 right, okay, so can you imagine you may have crashed this once or twice? <laughs> it proves quite useful. Right now, so we can now choose the vehicle. And let's just go choose the vehicle. There we go. So Matthew can now take a blue car off down the track. Marshall, and we have Jones going as well, and we have our red white man going as well. Depending on who's paying attention, we have multiple vehicles being controlled by iPhones and tilt centers flying down a white pan track with an in the air 3D camera uh, providing in car and race footage. We have the complete white pan experience. And you're the first people to bear witness to, to wipe out in the real world here at Over the Air. <laughs> and if you come back next year, we'll finish the first lap.